So there's the Ed Pastor Environmental Restoration Project. I'm at the back of the Pima County Adult Probation Court. <laughs> Adult Probation Office, Courthouse, according to the Chief Probation Officer. And we've got more private property in the back here, owned by somebody privately, according to that sign. That's what that sign would tell me. Is that a private citizen or other type of owner or a, a corporation or some company owns that property in a private capacity? Not a public entrance, it's an employee entrance, sure, sure. That seems legit, at least. And there's Com T rest on PAG all. Oh. Com itty rest shin pang o. Oh. Or community restitution parking only. Is that like a, what we call community service here? I've never heard that phrase. So there's no parking here by the gate. There's not, uh, that's, that's a very minimal amount of signage on a big gate like that. A lot of times they like to put all kinds of things on there, but I guess everybody just knows. And so the way I came in, I passed that private property sign and I circle around through community restitution parking to see on my way out, I then see private property, employee parking only, all others will be towed. That makes sense. I think the, the employee parking only, they can limit that. They can tow people who violate that. They didn't put a code on there, but whatever. It's the private property thing. So here's another of the domestic violence bumper stickers. I answer the call. I answer the call to end domestic violence. No markings on here, so I don't know. It looks like parks, maintenance, something like that with that big trailer on there. So how do they answer the call to end domestic violence by cleaning up the trash that's making one spouse mad at another by caging the lions that are eating their children so that they can be happy i don't know i don't know i just really want someone here's dispatch In a font that looks good to say Sasquatch instead. Like written in blood. Blood of innocent hikers, unwary hikers. And then this is, okay, I guess these are all dispatch. All three. You, can, you can't really see it when there's a car there, obviously, but I did catch that glimpse. Look at this. I didn't see this on the way out. This is a, an Arizona license plate. County vehicle. So maybe they look... I mean, they do look different for county vehicles, and this is how they looked back in the day, I'm thinking. That one's pretty, pretty aged. And there's, I mean, it looks like these are all, it's employee parking only, but these look like county vehicles, all on this side. Dispatch parks over there. So there's only county vehicles, and dispatch what is dispatch at a probation office so they have their own thing where like they take calls about people violating probation and they send a, a, a probation officer out into the field is that is that a thing i don't i don't get that only one cupola is moving what does that mean And there's our mast. And a nice big prosopis velutina. 
Look at that. Big, twisted, greasy, just running sap down its armpits. So big it can't even hold its sap in. That color though. Oh, well, here's where the rest of the people park. Dispatch parks out there so that they can make a clean getaway if they need to. This is kind of a lot of cars. And I'm guessing that the only reason no one has come to talk to me is that they haven't noticed. That's my guess. I don't know that for sure. They may just be like, whatever. It's that guy from before who was all like standing around for a half hour. Don't make our 45 minutes. Like, don't, don't encourage him. It could be that. Bench here with more Prosopis velatina sap. Uh, velvet mesquite. barbecue a lot with that. I don't know if it's the same kind of mesquite they use for barbecue chips or whatever, but it is pretty fragrant, so it probably is at least one of the kinds that they use. And there's some aloe barbadensis, aloe vera. Barbadensis is actually, I think, like a variety. Not the, the species is just aloe vera. It's one of those plants like uh, uh, the century plant, agave. They're all the same genus and species. They're all these varieties, but they're all the same species, even though they look ridiculously different. And this, this here plant, this bush, I, I guess it might be screw bean mesquite, but I cannot get a solid ID on it. I get told like 10, 12 different plants by my app. It just doesn't know what this is. My favorite one was, oh, dang it. I forget the name now. Ah, well, I, if it's that and I find out definitively, I'll, I'll talk about that another time. But, uh, but it's, it's only a bush. It doesn't ever get to be a tree. And so I just kind of don't think it's a mesquite. With those little needle-like leaves. But hey, maybe somebody knows, please. If you can help me out, tell me, because I love this plant. It's really just cool looking and I just like the way it is, the color, the pale color, and it's all over the place, wild and cultivated. Yeah, so this is all mesquite all the way around. There's one uh, that could even be a, a desert broom in the front of that mesquite there, reaching its kind of max height. but mostly mesquite. And they got solar. The, solar's, the solar inverter says CPS on it, which I'm sure does not stand for Child Protective Services. It's like converter power systems or something. Cha-cha-cha! That's their, their ad. CPS, check my uh, comments for PayPal. I mean the description. Those lights, I mean, I don't know, the camera doesn't really catch the way stuff looks for real sometimes, and this is, I think, one of those things, but those lights are just kind of surreal in the, in the sun, the way they're catching the sun right now. They just, it looks like a rocket should take off from there any second. And what the heck is that? There's a bunch of little dingle antennas coming off of the top of the parking lot light. Is that some new kind of anti-bird thing? Because they got the anti-bird spikes in the middle. But then they got these little, like, anglerfish lures. 
Maybe they keep moths away. That'd be cool if somebody came up with a way to do that. You divert them away from a light. All right, it's getting pretty boring. I thought this would, I was, I was planning on this being quick regardless, like not drawing it out, not waiting for law enforcement. I was really just gonna be like, okay, private property says who? And nobody says, so. Oh, but here's the sheriff. Do you think that's possible? No way. They didn't call the sheriff on me. Maybe they'll be proactive. Do some community policing. Monopod engaged. And I'm guessing they didn't turn around. I did think I see, I saw a, a neck crane. I saw a gawk come out of that sheriff's vehicle, but they did not turn around. Maybe the commissar's in town. That man looks hot. He just has the look of someone who is carrying some heat. I mean, literally. Doing something over there with, I don't even know what that building is. I walked right by it and didn't even look. But yeah, I guess, uh, oh, he just looked over here. Seems to be going about his business. Excellent. All right, I mean, at this point, what, 12 minutes? It's a pass. I'll come back another time just because it might be a, a pass through failure to notice. So here's your lovely view of the adult prob the Pima County adult probation back parking lot. What up?